now. Pressure from governors, the threat of a shutdown in counties next week, and an adamant president to Uhuru Kenyatta forced the Senate to eat humble pie and agree on a $316.5 billion allocation to the devolved units in the current financial year. The senators, however, resolved to fight on at the Supreme Court to stop the national government in future from accessing money before the Division of Revenue Bill is passed by the two chambers of Parliament. Francis Gashuri reports. More than three months into a stalemate aggravated by a vicious sibling rivalry between the two chambers of parliament, a solution is finally in sight for the 47 county governments that were staring at a financial crisis next week. The Senate forced to drop its demand for a 335 billion shillings allocation to devolved units in the 2019-2020 financial year. The Senate following a meeting held today, 5th September 2019, has made the painful but patriotic decision to advise our negotiators at the ongoing mediation process to agree to the allocation of the 316.5 billion as the equitable share of the nationally raised revenue to be allocated to the counties. Only two senators attended last week's mediation committee sitting at County Hall, and a day later, a Council of Governors meeting reportedly disowned the Senate's hardline stance on the division of revenue. The governors even threatening to shut down the counties if no money would be channeled next week to pay salaries and finance other county operations. They will have to make do with the 316.5 billion shillings after an adamant President Uhuru Kenyatta twice in as many months insisted there was no more money for the counties. We cannot give that which does not exist. Let us take what we have. Let us just take what we have. What are we arguing about? Because in total, county governments will receive 378.1 billion shillings in the 2019-2020 financial year. This includes a shareable revenue of 316.5 billion shillings, which is 30.5% of the last audited accounts of 2014-2015 financial year and conditional allocations of up to 61.6 billion shillings. Some of the extra allocations to counties include 38 billion shillings in grants from development partners, 13.9 billion shillings from the national revenue and road maintenance levy of 8.9 billion shillings. It is not enough, but it is progress and the Senate will live to fight another day. The Senate will not allow the entire system of devolved government that is the basic pillar of our constitution to be brought down by schemes such as this. The National Assembly has consistently proposed allocations that do not take into account accepted economic parameters and that disregard the recommendations of the Commission on Revenue Allocation. The two houses resume sittings on Tuesday from a month-long recess. They are expected to pass the mediated version of the Division of Revenue Bill by Thursday next week for onward transmission to the President for assent by the end of the week. Only then can county governments receive their share of the 2019-2020 budget and pay salary arrears as well as financing delivery of devolved services. We will continue to pursue the position Position, that there cannot be a legal appropriation bill being passed by one house before a division of revenue bill is passed. The National Assembly through Clerk Michael Cialai welcomed the Senate's change of heart, terming it a key step in unlocking the stalemate that was hindering release of funds to counties. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.